Hello, good morning, and a very warm welcome from Pharonix, wherever you happen to be in the world. So this webinar is one of a series of monthly webinars in which I talk about typical problems faced by IT managers and how we at Pharonix can solve those problems. In this month, chosen very unashamedly to talk about Deep Freeze, which is our number one product. Um, what I mean by that is that not really that long ago, Pharonix was just a small startup, but we're now in 150 countries with offices all around the world. And the product that has really taken us there is Deep Freeze. And that is because it is a fantastic tool for IT managers. So I'm going to explain why that is and all the problems that it can solve for you as an IT manager. So my name's Tom, and I'm going to be taking today's session. Thank you very much for joining today's webinar and very happy to take any questions as we go through. Just pop them in the Zoom chat and I'll take a pause at the end of the session for any questions. So this is the life of many of an IT, many an IT manager. You might feel like you're always just putting out fires, moving from one disaster to another. And you might feel like you may be using your resources ineffectively. You might feel like your team members are spending time on tasks that seem to take up a lot of time, but don't add that much productivity. It doesn't really have to be like that at all. Mm -hmm. uh, deep freeze can get you out of this reactive mode and back onto the front foot. Um, so you can spend your time on strategy rather than on admin and firefighting. So deep freeze can really improve your process. If this box on the left seems to be how you feel about your processes, maybe they're a bit too manual, taking a lot of resources um, to do quite basic tasks. Maybe you're not totally confident in your security. And um, if you're inefficient and you're not totally confident about data privacy, then deep freeze can really resolve those problems by automating a huge amount of process and taking out a lot of manual admin to make you much more efficient and also way more secure. Deep Freeze is a really simple concept, which is reboot to restore. What I mean by that is that if I have Deep Freeze enabled on a computer, when I restart that computer, it will restart in its original state. So any local changes by the user will disappear on restart. The computer will be returned completely to uh, an original state. Any Anything that the user has done to the hard drive, um, those changes are going to go. So there are several benefits to that reboot to restore functionality. The first benefit is the security benefit. So ideally, you want to pile up as many layers of security as you can in your product. Very good antivirus and anti-executable whitelisting tools, um, threat detection, all very important and good ideas. What Deep Freeze gives you beneath these layers of protection is, is a very powerful layer, whereby you know that if something makes it through your other layers of protection, so there are new viruses, there are new ransomware attackers all the time, if they can penetrate your defenses, you know that you just have to restart your machine and you're gonna return it to its original state. So any virus disappears on a restart. If you're attacked, you restart and you know you're back to a fresh machine, you're not going to have to spend months trying to work out whether you've eliminated all the malicious code. You know immediately that um, it's gone. Second benefit is that most of your help desk tickets are going to disappear. Most IT problems are just going to be resolved with a restart. So the support load will typically decrease drastically when you take on deep freeze. And in settings where you might not have technical expertise, 
that doesn't matter so much because someone who isn't an IT specialist, if they know about Reboot to Restore and they're having to solve some problem on the ground, they just restart the machine and the problem is normally solved. And also IT admins and managers can restart devices from the cloud. They don't have to be physically present to restart a device. So you're reducing the amount of time that a support team would have to walk around uh, large sites. Third benefit is data privacy. So in an environment like this, um, say in a school or a university where you have many different users using lots of devices over the course of a day, it's important that as a user, my data is not visible to my other to other users. Mm -hmm. And Deep Freeze ensures that anything like browsing history or any anything sensitive is going to disappear on a restart. Although there are several ways of making sure there's no need for anyone to lose any work, but you can make sure no one loses any work while also retaining data privacy. Fourth benefit is that you can prevent configuration creep. If someone changes the settings on your device, whether intentionally or unintentionally, you know that you can immediately return the device to its original state. So if you're spending a long time on imaging, for example, um, then that time can be saved because you don't have to re-image a machine after it comes back and it's been the settings have been changed. Fifthly, you can improve the lifespan of your hardware. So your hardware has a limited lifespan and your hardware is expensive. Deep Freeze gives you a much better return on that expensive investment because every time a workstation starts, it starts with a clean hard drive. So you're not clogging up the device with lots of junk um, over time. All, all that clutter that accumulates and slows the hardware down, that impact is reduced. So hardware can last a lot longer. Those difficult decisions about when to replace hardware, they become a lot easier. And your user experience is optimized. So I'm now gonna run you through some real life use cases. So these are all real people who work at Real Foronics customers, starting with Philip, who is IT technician at Cranbrook School in England. So he uses Deep Freeze in his science and classics departments. And he found that portable devices were open to abuse by students. Um, but now he can really easily return those devices to a baseline state. So if students are messing around with portable devices, and making changes that Philip doesn't want, that doesn't need to be um, a problem because he can just easily return them to that baseline state and therefore he can give the students more freedom because uh, any changes are automatically reserved, reversed so he can allow them to work with really non-restrictive learning um, where they don't, he doesn't have to implement strict controls over the devices because if anything goes wrong, it's just a restart. So he calls it a fire and forget solution because it's really easy to administer. This is Rashid, who is head of IT infrastructure at IDLC Finance in Bangladesh. And his key priority was security. He had these pool laptops with risky profiles. So out and about on different networks, um, exposed to the possibility of cyber threats from a few sources. But those laptops are no longer compromised because if he does have an um if he does have a threat that makes it through his defenses then it's just a restart this is rudy he is solutions architect at digipolis in belgium which is the it partner for the city of antwerp so he's responsible for libraries and education centers within a museum so lots of public facing workstations. 
And prior to using Deep Freeze, he found that a lot of devices need to be reinstalled or re-imaged uh, regularly. And he had a lot of resource taken up by maintaining those images and restoring the images when they came back to him. Um, but that is no longer needed because it's just one reboot for a clean system. And he doesn't need to be physically present. So rather than having to walk around these libraries and education systems within a large museum, he can control everything from one cloud console, deepfreeze.com. He can restart from there and he can manage a lot of his other regular maintenance from that one cloud platform. This is Raquel, who is department manager at Modifex in Portugal runs a professional training center with 400 computers. And her main challenge was really uptime, keeping those workstations 100% operational. She'd previously spent a lot of time on reconfiguration and now spends no time at all on reconfiguration because all those unwanted changes are wiped out on restart. So much more efficient, much less resource intensive. This is Brian, who works in technical support team for Life Lights, which is a slightly different use case. It's a charitable organisation, children's hospices through the UK, and they found that their support load has decreased massively since Reboot to Restore. They have 100% uptime on PCs, and the care staff no longer need to worry about the PCs. The PCs can look after themselves. So those care staff who have a difficult job anyway they don't really want to be worrying about the IT side of things and no longer do they have to. They're not spending time on fixing computer problems. They know that any problem can be resolved on a restart. So they're empowered to do their jobs much better. So this is Miguel, who is head of informatics project at Planta Calea in Mexico. And he's in charge of five IT labs with 40 computers each. And he just found that he kept getting viruses all the time um, before deep freeze. And the students would install unauthorized software um, and that used to infect those devices, um, which obviously caused a big headache. And that headache typically would take about three hours each to repair just one computer. Uh, so if you multiply up, then it's a huge amount of time that used to take him. But now it's just one per semester, do the imaging, don't need to touch the devices again. So if students install unauthorized software, then he can eliminate that with a restart. This is Richard who looks after IT at City Inn, a chain of hotels. And for him, the privacy of his guests is of paramount importance. So in a hotel where public facing machines are in use, it's really important to that hotel chain that when one user, when one hotel guest uses the device, that then that user's personal information is not available to the following guests. And it's possible to set up an idle time task. So you could say that if a device is idle for a custom number of minutes, then it will restart. So thereby decreasing the possibility that someone's sensitive data is going to be passed around. And you can also set shutdown or restart, uh, restart tasks at a certain time every day, if you like. So yeah, all information erased after a reboot. So that data privacy is not really a headache for Richard anymore. There's no danger of personal information being accessed by fellow guests. And he now has complete system integrity and his IT costs are lower. Joaquim is manager and teacher at the Instituto Politecnico de Toma in Portugal. And his workstations were in a bad way. He kept getting these malware attacks and that was degrading the performance of the workstations. 
basically really slow or totally out of use. And that was consuming all his IT team's time. But since he started using Deep Freeze, all his workstations are now correctly configured and he's got that massive amount of time back in the day. Yeah, so maintenance time hugely reduced and time that can be spent on much more productive activities. And finally, Philippe, who is IT manager in the Institute Superior de, Lo de l'Aeronautique. Sorry, I passed that again. L'Institut Superior de l'Aeronautique et de l'Espace in France. And he found that he had applications generating temporary files in normally protected places. So he was having previously to grant his users access to those locations, which he didn't really want to do. Deep Freeze solves this problem because maintenance time is hugely reduced and he doesn't have to give those access rights anymore. So we talk about one platform total control. Um, and really that is because we do allow complete control over what's happening in your environment through an easy to use web-based console. So when you're managing your workstations, you've got everything in one place in one URL. Wherever you are, wherever your workstations are, you can manage everything really easily and your colleagues can manage everything without really requiring too much specialist technical knowledge. So we've got Reboot to Restore, which I've talked about there in the top left, but there's a few other ways in which we can make you more secure and more efficient. So software deployment. Um, so this allows you to totally automate your application updates. So you can schedule a time that works for you and pre-select the applications that you want to keep up to date. And then those updates are going to deliver um, without you needing to um, disrupt your users and without you needing to spend any time on software updates at all. And Windows updates, similarly, you can deliver and manage your Windows updates um, across your computers without needing to spend time on it, without needing to have any downtime. Imaging, there's a fully functional imaging module. So it's really easy to image your devices and then push out images to your workstations. Remote Connect. So as I mentioned, Reboot Restore will decrease helpless tickets by a lot. But if you still find you need to remote into any of your devices when there's an issue, then you can do so. Lots of reports and dashboards come within the product. So you're gonna be able to see, for example, computer usage, application usage. Um, if you wanna report on your software license compliance, all filterable by date, really easy to get the data you need. Antivirus, um, really powerful antivirus package. Um, which is going to stop most threats getting through. But you know that Deep Freeze is there if something does get through, whatever your antivirus offer is. Application control. So this is a whitelisting tool. So you're going to be able to maintain a central control list of executable files that you want to block. And Kiosk Lockdown is normally most relevant to public-facing machines like say libraries or schools universities where you want to completely customize the desktop you want to say i'm going to allow these these applications these web links uh, and no more so you're going to limit the damage your users may cause you inventory will give you total information about your hardware so if you want to know any anything about your hardware it's one auto refreshing page um, including the warranty information. So you're going to know um, if there are issues with your hardware, you'll know and you'll be able to take really good decisions based on the best available information. PowerSafe can reduce your electricity cost without any disruption to your users or losing any work. 
Cloud Sync and Data Igloo are basically ways of making sure that you can use the Reboot to Restore functionality and never lose any work. So Cloud Sync will allow you to your users to sync to their cloud drive so that you can um, so that their data so suppose they're working in my documents that will get synced to their cloud drive and but the hard drive will still get cleaned out so you still get the benefit of deep freeze without losing any work and data regularly similarly will allow you to exclude certain folders if you want to retain them across multiple reboots ticket management you see you can allow your users to report tickets to you through the windows taskbar and then mobile device management uh, so there's a fully functional um, solution for ios android and chromebooks so support is really friendly and easy you'll definitely be communicating with real people rather than robots and helps only one click away and we are very nice people and it will help you um, quickly So there's a lot of IT managers around the world who have really benefited from Fornix Cloud and its ease of use. So uh, 27 years now, we've been around 12 million licenses, um, more than 150 countries and more than 33,000 unique customers around the world, all big, small and medium sized. Our headquarters are in Vancouver in Canada, but we also have offices in the USA, in England and in Singapore. Plus um, a whole army of resellers around the world. So local resellers who work with us. Um, so there's going to be someone near you who can help you out. So you don't have to take my word for it. There's a free trial available from our website. Um, so if you go to phonics.com, you're going to be able to sign up for a free trial and you just need to activate the functionality you want in your policy and install the cloud agent on the devices. Once that cloud agent is on the devices, then they will appear in the cloud console and you can um, manage the devices. So that QR code is there. Um, if you would like a more detailed demo, um, if you'd like um, to find out more about Phoronix working with your particular environment. We can have a chat about your particular requirements and show you the product in more detail. Um, just going to pause for q and I've got one question there. Um, how do Windows updates work with Deep Freeze? Yeah, so, um, so I guess with Reboot to Restore, you're concerned there about how, how can you keep your Windows updates um, delivering and restore to an up-to-date machine. So yeah, so basically you'd set a maintenance window. So say between three and four on a Thursday mornings, your Windows updates maintenance window. At the start of that maintenance window, Deep Freeze will disable itself. The Windows updates deliver. And then at the end of the maintenance window, Deep Freeze re-enables itself. So you can, keep Windows updates delivering, and then you still get the security and feature benefits of delivering all your Windows updates while still enjoying Reboot to Restore. All the benefits that we spoke about, the real life use cases, you still get them and you can deliver your Windows updates alongside. Okay, thanks very much for joining today's session. Have a lovely day and we'll catch you on the next webinar. Bye-bye.